Alright, so this is a 2009 Porsche Cayman, just a base model, but what we are going to be doing is changing out the right side blinker and the headlight, which is a really, really easy thing to do, uh, probably take about 15, 20 minutes. Um, make sure you have all the tools, if you don't, I think you can go to renparts.com, they have all the main tools for the vehicle. I, I think I bought like all my stuff in there for like, whatever they keep if you don't have any of them. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little tutorial. It's going to be maybe a 10 minute video or less really. So all it is is just a tool to get into the side of the headlight. It's like a little locking mechanism. You're just turning it counterclockwise to unloosen it, pulling the whole headlight out. And then from there, there's a little twisty part, a cap that you're going to untwist and pull out the little compartment for where the uh, blinker light is. And then you want to change the blinker light, make sure, gloves, you don't want to put your fingers on any kind of light with your oils on your fingers. Putting it on there is basically just bad news. You're going to end up having to buy a new head or a new uh, blinker light, even headlight, stuff like that. So you never want to put any of your oily fingers on it. So make sure, gloves go from there make sure that we can see if it works so follow along hopefully you guys can enjoy this learn some tips from it um, and as well as to see what i do with the project came in on the next episode so follow me all right so this is what i wanted to show you this is what we will be doing for a fix all right so this is what i'm trying to show you here so as you can see in the gear the left one Hey. And now, rave time. No blinker, but tail light works perfectly fine. We are going to get the tools out of the frunk, which is up there. So, let's get those tools in the trunk. You are going to see that it's clean, no tools, right? So what you want to do is, there's two little turn clips, one right here, and one right here. So you just basically turn, turn, pull this down, and voila, you have your toolbox. So let me put this down real quick so I can open it because you can't open it with one hand. This is your toolbox. Here are your tools. This little doohickey. We'll push down here on the bottom. You're going to want to use that to unbutton. So you want to undo this one right here. in there which is literally through this other hole that's in the back so what I have to do put that tool in there all the way down to the back until it matches up with the little screw port that loosens and unloosens the safety mechanism to keep the headlight in place so it hooks it in unhooks it you pull it out so that's what we're gonna do right now as you can see tool is now in place and all I have to do is twist and to the right until the light is loose so lights loose all I gotta do really is now just pull it out and it's pretty hard to do it with one hand so give me a second here <laughs> all right one headlight so what we are doing is changing out the blinker excuse the haziness of this 
Uh, but yeah, we're gonna trace the blinker out, which is right back here, I think. All right, there you go. All right, so twist this part. And let me show you the bulb. So, hence this little bulb right here. Who come up doing hip hop? Part number. With the only tools that they had. Gun signal bulb six zero two one zero one. Records. So it's a little basically push in, twist, and then that's it. Okay, so is it a push clip? Yes. Push clip. So push clip. Bada bing. Here, twist it to the left. So you're doing it counterclockwise, and then you just kind of pull the sucker up. All right. New bulb. Is in nice and clean. Have the uh, gloves on so I don't put any uh, oil onto the bulb for my fingers so it doesn't burn it out. And then <clears throat> I'm gonna click it back in place over here. Get this sucker out of the way. Put it back in its hole because it likes its hole. Oh, why didn't you just go home? That's your home. Are you too good for your home? Answer me. Clockwise, clip back in place, that goes right back in, if I can fit my fingers, there we go, that ain't going anywhere, and then we are going to put you back in here. So it's just basic plug and play, plug this into the portion that is right in here, and that's it. So let me put you guys down, put that back in. Headlight back in. Nice and tight. Not going anywhere. That's a good little cap. Put back in here. And bing. There it goes. Alright. Plastic cap. Just the sucker on. tools back and make sure that this light is back up and running. Let's see if the blinker is now workable. Left, working. Right, working. Left, working. Yeah, yeah. That is that. Let's call that a wrap. We just did the right blinker and the right headlight. All right, guys. Well, that's that. Um, didn't take that long. I mean, what? 15, 20 minutes, really, to just take off a headlight, take the bulb out, put a new bulb in, make sure to wear gloves when you're putting them in because you don't want to put your oils and your fingers on the bulb or else you're gonna have to go buy another bulb. And the bulb is gonna burn out because you have all that oil that's on there. It's gonna crack the bulb. Um, but yeah, we basically done about 15, 20 minutes. Really easy, simple thing to do. Uh, make sure you have the tools in the trunk, which are in the front of the Porsche. Um, just that long bar that has the uh, opening in the back end to twist to open up the compartment for the headlight to come ajar and pull it out. And then basically from that, you'll see the little circular part that turns counterclockwise to open it. Pull the little tab out, pull the little extension where the bulb sits in, put the new bulb in that way, do everything backwards at the beginning, put everything back in, and you should be good. We are going to be doing next a, I think it's called the oil air separator uh, in the Porsche Cayman. Uh, for these ones, it's, it's pretty common, especially when you know when you have white smoke coming out of the back, it's not working. So we're going to be doing that the next episode, and hopefully you guys can follow along. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you haven't, like, comment, subscribe. Hit the little subscribe button on the bottom. And I do have new merch. I have the new shirts, 
Um, I think I have three different designs that I have as of right now. So I have three different shirts, uh, even to be process over as hoodies as well. So if you guys want to see those, I'll put some pictures up, probably like right here. If you want as well, I'll post the IG for where you can see them at and you can go and follow me there and I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to uh, have a little more fun with you guys on my experiences with the Porsche Cayman. So I'll talk to you guys next episode. Have a good time. Hope you guys stay safe with this coronavirus thing going on. Uh, stay home. You know, do what really needs to be done. And hopefully uh, we can see more of the car out with everybody else. Because, you know, it's getting pretty boring here in a house. When all you can do is try little things here and there with your car or play Xbox and stuff like that. Or be with your girlfriend. <laughs> so hopefully you guys are doing pretty well. Uh, being safe, being healthy. And look forward to seeing you guys when I do my next episode. Later, guys. Peace.